Hi, it's Ms. Todorik, and if you need a resume in 10 minutes and you need one fast, this is the website to use. Go to Canva, be specific. So you can do resume template if you want something general, or if you are a high school student, I would type high school resume template. Hit enter. You're going to come up with, you'll see beautiful templates here. So it's a matter of just matching one up with your personality, with your style. You can change and edit any one of these headings. Here it has a name. If you don't want one with your headshot, just keep in mind that you can easily remove that headshot. There's some other samples. So we are going to work on our resume and I'll show you how quick in 10 minutes you can get this done. So I selected a template. I'm gonna click on customize. You can also add the cover letter, but for this lesson, we are just going to focus straight on this template right here. So you can zoom in on the bottom right hand corner right here. Uh, you, it's very simple. All you have to do is just double click on that text box and just type. So I got Wendy to Doric. I'm going to pretend this. Let's say I don't want the headshot. I can put my headshot in there. Um, we can edit the photo once you once you get your photo, your headshot. Um, you can upload. You can easily search elements here. Um, you can go to design. You can play around with the different themes and colors. So what we're going to do, uh, you can create your own style. See if there's. It's great because it's like there's different colors that would go to nice with one another. And they just kind of, you just kind of click and see what matches your personality. I like that blue and black, actually. Uh, we only have 10 minutes, so I'm not going to spend too much time with my colors. All right, let's see if I have a headshot. Let's just pretend uh, I don't really have a headshot, so we are going to upload let's see i have some pictures here here i have a headshot i'm gonna delete that so it's easy it's just literally click on delete then you can move your photo there you can edit the photo and just remove the background which is an easy very nice feature and then you can just kind of zoom in i don't really have a great photo but that can be, all right, so high school student, we are going to punctuation, it's important. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm a friendly and accomplished person with a passion. Looking to improve significant culinary arts class, and I'm a two-time student of the month award. I'm hoping to be the next night shift prep cook at Salford Restaurant. Okay, you're going to be specific in here as far as this is kind of like an intro. Maybe you can even have a, um, an area for your objective. So reading this, it looks like they want to get that job at this Salford Restaurant. So instead of, you don't have to put this here, you can actually, let's say we can delete this. And this could be our objective. And I'm just switching up the format. I don't have to have it all bold. I can objective. And then I can kind of just kind of click, move this up. It's very easy to use. Have like another text box. You can use the same text box. Control C to copy, V to paste. And here I can type my objective. Uh, to obtain a position and it can be very vague in your company or I can to obtain you know a summer position as a camp counselor let's say if you're in a position in your company something very basic because I'm a high school student I'll take any job right education I like my capital I'm gonna change, you're gonna type, let's say you go to Lodi High School. And 
And then you're going to change the dates, September. Usually you're going to go to June. The graduate 23. Say you only went there a couple years. You're specialist, um, so let's double. Let's say business and management. Graduation. This you can change that to June 2023, and you are membership of. Let's kind of write like DECA, FBLA, things you've done at this high school in that business and management like specialty. So we got here, certification. Let's say you don't have any certifications. You know, a lot of your high school students, you're not gonna have that. So just go ahead, delete, delete everything. And then you're just gonna like go through, you're gonna have uh, contact wendytadoric at gmail.com. You're gonna have a phone number, 914, whatever that is. Who is it? Let's say we are Lord New Jersey, whatever that zip code is. All right, let's see my skills. If we want to go over here, you can have like Microsoft Word. You know, you could focus this on my strengths would probably be the computer skills. You know, food ordering. This was a, an originally more tailored to culinary. Double check your spelling. Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. All right, how are we doing on time? And then you're going to double click My Skills. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, someone was at the door. Just... Okay, so now we're gonna go over here, my contact. And you can change it. You could put contact info. I have my email. I have my fake phone number here. And then fill it in. So obviously I would get a better headshot. This looks too blurry. And then all this, my objective. You know, a lot of the times we don't have any job, any work experience, right? So my objective, my education, my skills, contact information, we need something to fill up this space. So if we zoom out, you know, some students, they speak a foreign language. So that can, you're gonna copy paste a lot of these section headers, right? Copy paste, and then just move it over. Copy paste, C and V is like, should be your best friends. Show copy paste and then oops and let me just delete that copy paste oh, there's the door again hold on one second coming okay so now we are going to change education to let's say And then you can always copy paste. Okay, so show it in Spanish. All right, so now it's all about just formatting and moving things up. So you see how you have space, we could probably move the contact information, you can make the skill 
So that's pretty much that's it. It's that easy, especially if you're in high school and you don't have work experience. I would elaborate on the things you do in school, maybe all the list of courses you've taken. Uh, if you have any volunteer experience, if you play any uh, sports or any kind of certificates, any achievements, perfect attendance, maybe you have a perfect uh, over 3.0 GPA, so on and so forth. So now you can make it a little larger, let's say. Um, I'm just going to kind of move this up here, just format it, get the little envelope. I might have to zoom in to see what I'm doing. My phone number looks very small here. Make it a little larger. Email could be larger, larger font. And then, of course, I'm going to move that up. And then the last step, once I do that, my skills looks a little lower. I could just kind of education. Yeah, I could fill up education possibly. Or I can move this up entirely up to you or you can keep it like that. It still looks good. You would just click on share, download. You can take a look at the options. You can download it as a JPEG. You can make a video, a PDF. So um, we're just gonna do a PDF standard and then click on download. It's really that easy. The format, it's a beautiful resume. Take a look. And that's your quick high school student 10-minute resume. Thanks for watching. Bye.